Okay, so we want to know if potassium chromate is added to a solution containing barium and strontium ions, which one will precipitate first? Okay, um, and first of all, we need to know what information uh, that we need to, what, what information do we need to know in order to answer this question? Okay, so, um, which one of these ions is going to precipitate first when we add potassium chromate? Okay, so just to give an, uh, an understanding of what is happening here, we have our potassium chromate, um, and this would be an aqueous solution, plus some uh, compound containing uh, soluble barium ions okay so that the barium ions would be free in the solution and uh, the the potassium is a spectator ion uh, so it's not going to participate all right and we'll see that because what's going to happen here when this reacts is the we'll get the barium chromate okay and the two potassium ions all right now this is a soluble salt so uh, if we wrote the net ionic equation we would write it just like this 2k plus plus cr 4 2 minus all right so in effect uh, this drops out and that's what we end up with okay so i'll just go ahead and leave it like this all right so this is the net ionic equation for the reaction with the barium ion and then we have a similar reaction with the strontium ion uh, CR. okay so the question is which one is going to precipitate first All right so the answer to that comes from which one is more soluble. The one that's more soluble is going to stay in solution longer than the one uh, that is less soluble. Okay, so whichever one uh, that is, it's, it's going to be determined based on the solubility of that salt. All right, so um, what we need to look up then is the solubility product for those two and what we find is that uh, the KSP for barium chromate is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 10th while the KSP for strontium chromate is 2.2 times 10 to the minus 5 okay so uh, quite a lot larger for strontium chromate which means more of it is going to be dissolved so our barium chromate is going to precipitate first okay so um, what I'd like to do is just to uh, kind of run through a um, a little example okay um, where it illustrates that so here is our keep doing that CRO4 um, dissociation equation for the salt of course these are aqueous ions and this is uh, solid okay so the solid won't show up in our uh, k e uh, constant for this equation um, that's why it's called the solubility product all right so um, so initially we're you know if we did just a quick ice table here you'll see we have zero to start out with because it's all the solid salt and then we're going to dissolve some of that and that will be the amount we have at equilibrium so our ksp is equal to x squared so x is just this square root of the KSP all right so that's pretty straightforward and it's one-to-one -one for both of these so we can compare those directly um, 
but uh, if it if it weren't one to one for those then we would have to do this for both of them solve for x and compare um, to get it on an equal basis all right so let's just uh, calculate the value here for x and we have uh, the square root of 2.2 times 10 to the minus 5 and we get that uh, x equals uh, 4.7 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, so that is the concentration of uh, strontium ions as well as uh, chromate ions in the solution um, uh, of that salt. Okay, we do the same thing for the barium chromate. We can take the square root of that value, and we have the square root of 1.2 times 10 to the minus tenth is 1.1 times 10 to the minus fifth. All right. That's um, how much of the barium ions. So you can see fewer barium ions, uh, lower concentration of barium ions in the uh, solution than the strontium, which says that uh, the strontium, uh, or rather the barium, will precipitate first. All right.